In this video, I want to show you how you can graph uh, or uh, sketch the graph of a parabola from the vertex. So let me first draw or the sketch of the graph. Sketch graph y is equal to x squared. Now, any parabola is transformation of this basic parabola. Say, let's plot some points. So when x is 0, y is 0. So this is 0, 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 4. And when x is 3, y is 9. So this is say. So these are the points. So these are one branches, one branch. And you can draw the line of symmetry. So this is a line of symmetry. So this y axis becomes a line of symmetry. And if you plot the other points, when x is negative 1, y is 1. When x is negative 2, it is 4. And when x is negative 3, it is 9. So one thing that you'd understand is these two are this is one branch. This is one branch. Then this goes to infinity like this. This goes on. You should draw an arrow. And this is the other branch. This is the other branch. So let me draw it better. So this goes like this. And it goes till infinity. So let's look at these points. Now, let's try to look at a pattern, find a pattern. Now from this point, this is the vertex. To go to this point, you have to go one across and one up. You have to go one across. You go one across and one up. To reach this point, from this point, you have to go two across. And how much up? One, two, three, four. You have to go four up. To reach this point, from this point, you have to go three across. You go three across and nine up. Can you see? This is nine up so just remember the pattern one across one two across four these are squares okay you're going if you go two across you have to go four up and here if you go three across you have to go nine up the same way if you go one across to the left you go one up and basically these two are reflection of each other okay can you see if this is one across from this line of symmetry this is also one across these two are also reflection of each other. This is 2 to the right and this is 2 to the left from the line of symmetry. Okay, so this is the basic pattern. So let me rub this off. Now what happens if you have, if you are asked to graph, say y is equal to x squared, uh, say uh, minus 4x minus 3. Now, yeah, this method is very useful when you cannot factorize this. It's not possible to find the x-intercept. It's easily, you can you find the x-intercept, but you have to use a quadratic formula. So, we're going to graph this by from the vertex. So, now that I'll give you a formula for vertex. So, we can say x, xv, xv means the x coordinate of vertex x coordinate this is a very neat formula x coordinate of vertex can be found by this formula so once you find the x intercept uh, sorry the x coordinate you can find the y coordinate so this is a formula so x coordinate of the vertex is always going to be minus b over 2a now, what is it? Hopefully, you know this is a, the coordinate of x squared is 1 here, yeah? and this is your a. This is your a. The coordinate of x is negative 4, so this is your negative b. Sorry, so this is your b, and this constant is called c. Or if you have learned the equation of any quadratic equation, uh, the general form of any quadratic equation is a, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So when you do the comparing between this form and this form, you can very easily see your a is 1, your b is negative 4, and c is negative 3. So using this formula, I can say xv is equal to what? 
negative of negative 4 over 2 times a. Your a is 1, which is 4 over 2, which is 2. So your x coordinate, uh, the x coordinate of the vertex is 2. So immediately you can draw a line of symmetry. Let's draw the line of symmetry through 2. So this is going to be a line of symmetry. So this is the line x is equal to 2. Now once we know the x coordinate of the vertex, you can find the y coordinate. So x, y, v would be to put this back in this equation. So this is 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 3. Uh, what is this? 2 squared is 4 minus 8 minus 3. Okay, now what is 4 minus 8? That is negative 4, take away 3, which is negative 7. So we can say the vertex, the coordinate of the vertex is 2 comma negative 7. So this is enough. If you know the vertex, you can find all other points. Okay, so let's plot the first so 2 comma negative 7 is here. So this is, this y is equal to, this equation is a transformation of y is equal to x squared. y is equal to x squared. So yeah, this, the graph of this and this are the same, but this is only transformed. So now from the vertex, we have to go one across and one up. And then if you go one across, one up, like this. If you go 2 across, it will go 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And from here, if you go 2 across, it will go 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you go 3 across, 1, 2, 3, you have to go 9 up. Okay? So this is how much up? Uh, so let me count. This is 3 across and 9 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is enough. And here, this is, if you use symmetry, you've got 1, 2, 3 across. So from here, you have to go 3 across. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so here, this is your y-intercept. You can understand this is your y-intercept. y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. If you put x equal to 0, you're going to get y-intercept is negative 3. So let's graph it. Let us sketch it. So the graph, this is one branch, goes up like this. And it goes up to infinity. And this is the other branch. And this also goes up to infinity. So the equation of this graph is y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 3. Okay, so I would like you to draw, sketch these graphs using the same principle. Say, so let me say y is equal to uh, x squared uh, minus 6x uh, minus 5. Okay, so this is one that you can do. Here, by just looking at this, you can see the y intercept is negative 5. Okay. And so one more. So this is the second one that you can do yourself. Y is equal to, say, x squared uh, minus 2x uh, minus 2x plus 8. Minus 2x plus 8. So graph these using the same principle. 